Hi guys, I'm back again with another Dollar Tree haul. This Dollar Tree haul I purchased about a week and a half ago, and I just gone in because I wanted to get some items to get ready for Valentine's Day and Easter. I have two teenage daughters, so I love to go to the Dollar Tree and look around for their cosmetics and different things that the girls would like to have. So um, I'm just going to dig right in. The first thing I got is for me, and it's one of these um, cupcake holders from the Dollar Tree. It just has the little snaps. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these. Um, I actually used to have a really nice one um, because I sold Tupperware for many years, and I love their cupcake takers. Well, I don't know what I did with mine. I had two at one time. Now they're gone. So I don't really do a large amount of cupcakes, so I figured that this one holds nine that would be perfect um, for me to just take them to a little gathering so I grabbed that I also got this three pack of Valentine bags and I thought those were really cute so I can put the girls goodies in there and then I picked up these jot ballpoint pens I had heard some good things about these and I um, just started working in my planner again for 2015 so I'm trying to uh, keep myself organized and I thought having fun pens to write with might help with that. <laughs> um, the next thing that I got is this Lisa Frank pen and it has all the different uh, colors there. Uh, blue, green, purple, orange, and pink. And this is going into my gift box. I buy things year round for Christmas and birthdays and things like that. So when I see good deals, I'll just buy it, throw it in there, and then uh, I'm all set for the holidays. So that's going in the gift box. Um, the next thing that I grabbed is this Clinear ear cleaner. Um, I have really small ear canals and I have a lot of problem with earwax. I know, TMI. But I bought these because I wanted to give it a try. They're crap. <laughs> they don't work. They have like this little scoop on the end of it, which all it does is push wax further in your ear. So I don't really know. It's like, it looks, can you see that? It looks like a little scoop or something. I don't know. Anyway, I tried one. Didn't do anything for me. <laughs> so that's a fail. Next, um, these items are things that I got with my girls in mind. Um, sorry, I've got my big teddy bear behind me to help support my back. Um, anyway, I grabbed these Pop Rocks uh, gum that I found there. I thought that my daughter would have fun with those. I remember growing up and eating these Pop Rocks all the time. They didn't have Pop Rock gum back then, though. So I grabbed that. Then I also got this Maybelline New York Pure Makeup Foundation in tan. This I actually got free. I had a coupon for a dollar off any Maybelline face product. So I grabbed that. And then I also found the Maybelline New York, uh, the Mega Plush, which they had it in emerald velvet. And I thought that this would look really nice. My oldest daughter's got really dark features, so I thought she might have fun playing with a green mascara. I can't remember if I got that one free or not. Um, I did use coupons so I can't recall. Next I got the LA Colors uh, Pressed Powder Compact in Nude. I knew that my daughter um, was in need of a compact and so I figured I would just grab that. It does look really cheap. I mean <laughs> the, the uh, hinge on it, I mean it looks like it could break at any moment but I figured that it was only a dollar so Next, I found the ELF Studio Ice Eyeshadow C Brush in the black. And I had heard someone say that the black brushes were better than the white ones, so I picked up two of those. And then I found a couple of Milani products. Um, I got this Milani Nail Lacquer, and this one is in color Instant Pearl number 27. I thought that was really pretty. And if these don't end up going to my daughter's, they'll be in the gift box. So I kind of just buy a bunch of stuff and figure it out later. It makes it easier for me. And um, the next one is Milani as well, Silver Stilettos, number 11A. I thought that was really pretty too. 
Then I found a Maybelline Color Show, which I believe I had a coupon for this one for a dollar off. This one is Bold Gold number 45. See if you can see right back here. I'm in my daughter's room. Don't mind the cups. Um, she paints her nails like nobody's business. So, <laughs> And this is just one of them. They both have nail polish collections. So I tend to um, buy a lot of nail polish. Um, I found some of the Revlon Nail Art Expressionist. This one has the black on one side and then the pink glitter. These are really fun. And there's so much more money at other stores. So... I decided to, sorry, grab a couple of those. You guys may see myself have to reposition every so on. Don't mind me. Okay, the next one is the um, Revlon Nail Art again with the light pink and the iridescent. And then last is the um, Revlon as well. And this one has a pink and then it's like a peachy coral color. Then I also found the spray. Um, I got one of the Enchanted Kiss, and then I got one of the Intimate Secret. Right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, they're both Intimate Secret. This one's Sheer Attraction. Sorry. And um, I, I grabbed these for the girls, thinking I can just put one in each of their uh, deals. And then lastly, I got the um, Sugar Soap Works Lavender and Vanilla Soap. I've heard good things about this soap from numerous people, so I decided to grab this. This is going in my mom's Valentine's Day um, deal. So, that's it for this haul. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all are having a great day. Bye.